Hi, I'm Dr. Greg Mendel, your friendly anatomy professor. We're going over the origin, search, and interaction of the psoas major and iliacus. They come together to form the iliopsoas. Come on in, let's take a look. The first thing we're going to look at is the muscle model of this. This is the psoas major, and the psoas major originates from T12 and the lumbar spine L1 through L5 origin, and it comes down and it's going to cross and meet up with this muscle, which is the iliacus. The iliacus is originating in the internal iliac fossa and iliac crest. It's going to insert down under on this model, we'll take a look. And so again, the origin of the iliacus is the internal iliac fossa touching up here on the iliac crest. The origin of the psoas major is, you can see in here on the transverse processes, the transverse processes of T12 and the lumbars. They come together, cross and go into the leg and form the iliopsoas, and they insert right here on the lesser trochanter and slightly under the lesser trochanter of the femur. The action of this is flexion and slight external rotation of the hip. 